You're listening to High Frequency Healing on the Super Power Up Podcast, the show that explores the awakening of superpowers through higher dimensional healing. Hello, this is Angela Maria, one of the Super Power Up hosts, and you are listening to High Frequency Healing Show. The only difference between where you are to where you want to be is the actions you take here and now to heal your life. So let's take a deep breath and be here and now. Today, I invite you to join the, to enjoy this time together. Here we go. Let's welcome Lauren Cardinal to my show today. We will be talking about moving psychic energy to heal. And I'm so, so happy about this interview because I have had some mm-hmm. hypnotherapy sessions and we're going to enjoy this conversation with Lauren. Lauren Cardinal is a board-certified medical support and clinical hypnotherapist. She is certified through the International Board of Hypnotherapy, which has the highest standards of any hypnotherapy certifying board, as well as requiring annual continuing education in the field of hypnosis. Lauren graduated from the College of New Jersey with a bachelor's in business management and received her education as a life coach from the Institute of Professional Excellence in Coaching. Lauren has over 15 years in corporate. She is a mother, an educator, speaker, a thought wrangler, and a possibilities peddler. Join me, please, to welcome Mm -hmm. Lauren Cardinal. Welcome, Lauren. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. What a great intro. Thanks very much. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Lauren, let's start with what's your healing superpower? Well, I would definitely have to say hypnotherapy. Nice. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that uh, later. Great. Yep. I love it. Would you please take us back to your early years and name one memorable life lesson that is useful for you today? I, oh gosh, that's a great question. I think that early on from, I'm going to say even kindergarten when I was five years old, up through grammar school, uh, I definitely learned that what I believed about myself is what people responded to. And I don't know that I would say it was any one particular event. It was something that I started to see over time. If I was feeling not so great about myself, then that's what people responded to. If I felt great, then that's what people responded to. So it was definitely uh, definitely about the beliefs. Mm, I love that. Lorraine, was there a burning bush moment that made your heart desire changing your path in life? Like you were thinking to do something in life and suddenly something happened that made you change that idea. Well, you know, with uh, 15 years in corporate and now in hypnotherapy, I guess the, my story might indicate that there is a, a time when a change certainly took place. And yeah, that moment for me, like I'm sure so many others, was when I had children. Mm. I just, uh, it definitely changed my, my focus, what I, what I valued, where I wanted my time spent, and um, what I wanted to do, what kind of difference I wanted to make. Mm, beautiful and interesting. Lauren, where can people go to find out more about you? Oh, they can go to my website, which is www.laurencardinal. And cardinal is like the bird, but with an E on the end. www.laurencardinal.com. Or they talking- can find me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And uh, certainly on my website, my cell phone number is there. And when you call, you get to talk to me. Oh, cool. And so Facebook, Instagram, and they are under your name. Yes. Perfect. Uh, various forms of Lauren Cardinal and hypnosis. I think Twitter is Lauren Hypnosis. So, Okay, cool. We've been talking with Lauren Cardinal about moving psychic energy to heal. When we come back from this short break, we are going to talk more about her, seal, her healing superpower. Stay tuned. We'll be 
right back. Are you here to change the world? Do you talk about things like vibration, frequency, awakening, and consciousness? Are you pretty sure you have superpowers? The Superpower Net is unlike normal coaching programs and conscious communities. We provide training, intuitive guidance, peer-to-peer -peer learning, intensive one-on-one -on -one coaching, and a high vibrational network of people just like you. When you join the Net, you get 24-7 access to a collaborative group of people who support you as you master your personal power and unlock your superpowers. If you are ready to use your superpowers to change the world, then join the Superpower Net today. Visit superpowerexperts.com slash the net to learn more. We're back and you're listening to High Frequency Healing. Today, we are talking with Lauren Cardinal about moving psychic energy to heal. Lauren, so let's go to the topic. What is okay. hypnotherapy? Hypnotherapy is the process of, the easiest definition I would say is the process of going within, going inside uh, to find our answers. And it's through the use of going into an altered state, which sounds very mystifying, but it really isn't. We go in and out of altered states throughout every day, all of us every day of our lives, just that hypnosis is intentional. We're, we're trying to get ourselves into that altered state. I love how easy you just explained this. And that's why I choose moving psychic energy to heal, because it's basically what I have experienced when I have had my sessions. It's just that energy that is inside that sometimes is just plenty of emotions and it just... Mm -hmm for some reason, affect our psychic, affect the way we think, affect the way we act, affect even the way we talk about ourselves and about our experiences. I've experienced that through hypnotherapy, you just move that energy and then you can heal because you move it and you create a space um, that is a free space, it's a, it's a healthy space. And that energy, in, of course, after I did my sessions, I always move the energy that I released and I just incorporated inside again as a creative energy but that is another story that i do with my cuckoo mind always trying to <laughs> manipulate and move energy uh, but i love the sure, way sure. you explain it i love the way you explain it so lauren many people like me may be thinking so what's the difference between hypnosis and hypnotherapy Oh, that's a great question. Uh, I do have a little bit on my website, but certainly in conversation, it's easier to get the point across. With hypnosis, it's a, a lot what people experience or know of or see with, with hypnosis. It's the positive suggestions without input from the client or the person who is participating in the hypnosis. It's really just listening. Uh, the hypnotherapy is the process of engaging in dialogue so that the questions that I ask during the session allow my clients to get their own answers. And the beauty of it is that we're our own therapists, so to speak, because when the answers come to us, just like when we're analyzing dreams, that everything means more to us individually. So mm -hmm. when my client is coming to answers in a session, it's more important that they know what the answers are and that it's significant to them and has meaning to them than anything that I could think or interpret or give back to them. So it's the process of really peeling back layers to get to a deeper level, connected um, with a higher power within ourselves to really find the answers that move us, create the space for more positive. Lorraine, thank you. <laughs> and I say thank you because these kind of topics could be kind of hard and, and tough to digest, but you just explain it in a way that is so easy. And I want to make an emphasis about something that really click inside that okay. the, difference, the big difference between both of them is that through hypnotherapy, there is an engaging dialogue where you create yes. a space to just get in contact in connection with your higher self and be able to find your own answers. And that's that, it. that is something super important because I always, and I'm now in a movement that I want this movement to be big, is that we need to start 
taking back our power and instead of looking for answers out there, connect mm-hmm. to ourselves in a way we can find the answers where they really are inside. Absolutely. Us. And I, love and I say you- that with clients frequently that it's, we have everything that we need. We have all of the resources that we need for our own answers, for our own healing. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the work that I do is in the physical realm with, with healing. I, I meet with a lot of cancer patients. Um, I meet with pain management patients for the opportunity to go within and find those answers and heal because the body's natural tendency is to want to heal right? When we get a cut, we don't have to order it to heal. We don't have to tell it to heal. The body's natural response is to do that. And so with hypnotherapy, we can, again, go inside and activate those components, relieve the emotional things that are causing pain or disease. That's one step. And then going in for the actual physical healing to aid in that process. So there's an opportunity to heal. And in some cases, there is an opportunity to cure also, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. And why? And, and I, and this this question just came to my mind. What mm-hmm. do you think is the reason that some people may even cure themselves, and others they don't they don't get to that stage? Oh, that's a great question. I think um, I'll give you an example. Just working with some of the the clients that I've I've had, I have a. a client that uh, experienced pancreatic cancer. And I started working with her five months ago. And as of two weeks ago, yes, with pancreatic cancer, she was told or she told me that she is cancer free. But I will tell you that the first time she came into my office, she said to me, I know my body can heal itself. I know my body can heal itself. I just want to to have access to that. She was trusting her own intuition and she was doing chemotherapy. She was doing supplements, but she trusted her own inner guidance and she knew her body could heal itself. Wow. The comparing, comparing to someone who is more along those lines where understandably mm-hmm. fear is the motivator and they just, it sometimes it's too, too scary to look at um, taking control over your own health. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not something that we've been conditioned for necessarily. And some, some cancer patients are more inclined to, um, to refer to the doctor, which we all do. They're very informed, very knowledgeable, know what they're talking about, but want the, want the chemotherapy to do everything for them and sort of just, here, you give it to me, um, rather than saying, this is my life. The chemotherapy will work on killing the cancer cells. I'm going to work on reclaiming my life. So that both of the things are working at the same time. Oh, yes. I really value your answer because it's something that I've been very fine with the people I have the blessing um, to work with in, in this life. And you just said something that is really key in the process of healing. It's take your power back. When you are expecting mm-hmm. the other to do something you are supposed to do by yourself, you're giving up your power. Mm-hmm. And if you give your power that, you, if, you, if you give up your power, then <laughs> nobody can really do much for you. But when you really, when you are aware that you are the power itself, that the power is inside you, that what the woman said to you, I think is beautiful. I know my body can heal this. I just need the guidance to be able to connect or reconnect to that power because at some point we just unplug the power um, is when the really magic yeah. happens. It is, and it is magical because when that synergy is there, like particularly that individual, and I say to all my clients, I have no idea. When a doctor tells that client in particular that she has six weeks left to live, he said, that's just a suggestion. If Whoa. they said you have five years left to live, you know, it's just a suggestion. And if you live seven weeks, live ten weeks, all of these are suggestions you can choose whether. Lauren, 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 I'm losing you. Oh, really? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Could you just please okay, great. answer that back again? Because I think it was super important, but we were, um, the, the, the sound just went off. Sure, sure. When I have clients in my office, I say that whatever they're given as a prognosis, let's say that p- pancreatic cancer client was told she had six weeks to live. And I said, that's just a suggestion. It's just a suggestion. 
if you live seven weeks, if you live eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, then obviously the doctors are saying that because they care so much and they don't want to have false promises. I totally get it. But what I say to my clients is that I have no idea what you are capable of. And I'm not going to be the one to, to diminish what you're capable of. But anything is possible. Anything is possible. And if a miracle is going to happen, well, my office is the space where I allow that to happen because I have no idea what they're capable of. And let's find out. Mm. And this is, this is where we really need to be aware that every single experience, it doesn't matter how great or how painful, how easy or how tough is the experience. It's just an opportunity to go inside and reconnect to that power. And of course, I think that's part of mm -hmm. being, being human. That nature is that we really start wondering what's going on when things are not going well. If I'm happy, healthy, I don't ask, oh my God, why I'm so happy? Why I'm creating with this? <laughs> right. We don't ask those questions. But if, yeah. some, if life is going hard, if we are just going through these kind of illnesses or a breakup or uh, being with no work, uh, having financial issues, is when we start thinking, oh my God, now I need help. And it's when we right. really open up to a lot of opportunities to reconnect. And hypnotherapy, it's, it's one of those opportunities. And you just said something that I got goosebumps when you said it. If my office is the space to create that magic or that miracle sometimes, um, mm -hmm. I'm here just to offer that space. And I think that's, that's beautiful because it's just telling the people, you can do it. If you need a space to do it, come here. This is the space. That's right. I'm going to guide that's you. Right. You need to reconnect to that power. And if you are listening to us, if you're going through hard time, the only thing you need to do is take an action. Take an action to go inside. Take an action to reconnect to that power. That's right. And, you know, it's interesting what you mentioned about um, when things are going great, we don't often question it. It's when things go awry or something is wrong that we question. And the beauty is in the awareness. And what I want to add to that is that there is beauty in that awareness because just being aware that there's an issue is an indication that we are out of alignment mm -hmm. with who we know ourselves to be. Mm -hmm. And because of that, there's an opportunity for growth and for healing and for learning so that we can move on. Exactly. And nowadays, in this new era, this is what we are really calling to do. Start asking mm -hmm. those questions inside that maybe many years ago, few people may ask those questions to themselves. But nowadays, more and more people are being aware of something bigger, something else. Yes. It's not just yes. this reality that I think is my reality because I have created through, and you said it before, through my fears, through my beliefs, that they are always limiting in most of us. And these opportunities, these experiences are just telling us there is something else. Don't, don't stay there. Don't get stuck in there. And that's when we start feeling oh, maybe there is something else that I would like to pursue and I really would like to try and give a try to see if this works. And that's when mm -hmm. really magic happens. Because for me, magic is just the consequence of belief that something can change. It doesn't matter what uh, it is. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Lauren, I would like to know, how does a hypnotherapy session with you go? So I call, I get an appointment with you. What could I expect? What's like the, the, um, the protocol? Just, just as you mentioned, you call, we set an appointment. And for just for those where distance is prohibitive, mm -hmm. I do uh, video sessions that are HIPAA compliant. So I use a service that keeps everything private. Uh, because sometimes it's difficult, and particularly even for cancer patients, it can be difficult if they're feeling weak to make their way to my office so I can do video sessions. Mm -hmm. But I meet people in my office, and we discuss any questions that they have, um, first and foremost, to create the safe space where they feel comfortable and um, peel back some of the layers through conversation to determine what the real issues are, and we go into into the session. 
and the hypnosis session, I usually start with relaxation. It's not a prerequisite for hypnosis, but there's an opportunity for it. So I like to take it mm-hmm. and um, then go into the hypnotherapy session to begin asking the questions. And sometimes it's visualization. Sometimes it's a dialogue, depending what, um, what the client needs at that moment. So every session is different. Every session is based individually on the client and the client's needs. And then at the end of the session, it's interesting. What I explain to clients is really it's, it's not so much that when clients leave, they feel like they're bouncing out the door and, you know, just elated. It's really that when they leave, they just feel normal. Mm -hmm. They feel good Mm -hmm. because that's, that's the intention. If they're out of alignment, it's a matter of getting back in alignment. And when we're in alignment, we feel good. We feel normal. We feel right. So, and depending on the issues and what the goals are for, for my clients, it can, I usually say that it's anywhere between four to six sessions. And that being said, have people come in and felt where they want met their goals in three sessions? Absolutely. Have people met them in eight sessions? Absolutely. The biggest catalyst for the change is the emotional desire for that change. If somebody is really ready for that change and wants it, then they'll likely see the results faster. Mm. Okay. Um, You have been doing this for a while, but what is one besides these, the cancer that I think is just amazing, but what has been one of those patients you have had that stole your heart and just made you feel proud and f- make you feel this is my mission in this era. That's why I'm incarnate to study this and to be what I'm being now and create this impact in this world. Oh, that's such a great question. And I feel like it's so many clients because to see that change, to see them meeting their goals, it's just, it's humbling. I mean, and as much as I know how well hypnotherapy works, it's still just amazing to see, to see the changes. Yeah. And first and foremost, I think the the client with pancreatic cancer, that's, that's just phenomenal. Um, I have a, a client that just warmed my heart who had, um, was experiencing symptoms of OCD and five months ago said they were on about an eight out of 10 on a scale. And as of our last session, they were down to a one out of 10. So that's, that's a pretty important change for me too. And, uh, oh gosh, it it goes on. I feel like I'm moving backwards through my clients and just the, you know, and what's funny is when people will email me, clients will email me and say, Oh, you probably hear this all the time, (laughs) or this probably isn't very exciting to you. And Yes, it's absolutely exciting. It's all exciting, you know. Yes. When we're all living up to our potential, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. And be the guide to help people to connect to the divinity we are. Be that hope for people. Oh my God, I could really do it because at the end of the story, we are just conduits. We are just channels. We are just guiding them and, through, and showing the light. But if they don't take action, Absolutely. if they are not willing, as you said it before, if there is no a very strong emotional desire to make the change, you could be the best hypnotherapist in this world and nothing would happen. Or not at least at the level they are expecting to happen. So I, I think that yes. you said it also very beautiful. Uh, it's humbling just to listen to those stories coming back and saying, hey, thank you. I was able to do this because of your intervention. And I say to people, to my clients, I am just shepherding. Well, I'll say to my client in the share, I am just shepherding you to you. It's yeah. not about me. It's, it's about you that. accessing you. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we don't do that very easily. So if I, like you said, can be the conduit for that, Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And hypnotherapy doesn't speak to everyone. Um, it's a modality that when people know it, it resonates with them. And then those are my clients. But there definitely is a need for us to have access to ourselves in order to, to heal uh, from trauma, whether it's emotional or physical or sexual trauma, uh, to neutralize those experiences so that we can move onward and not 
essentially have our thoughts and emotions hijacked by the memories. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there are definite, there are needs there. It's, a, it's a matter of appealing to the need mm-hmm. that is absolutely out there. So that's, that's my intention. That's my purpose. That's my mission. Mm-hmm. And yeah, what you said is true. I think that that's why it's so beautiful nowadays that there are a lot of healing modalities. It's like, mm-hmm. there is not excuse. I think that's how our creator, whoever is up there that you believe in is thinking. Okay. Now we're going to start thinking uh, in a different way. We are creating a new earth. And for that, I'm going to provide you with a variety of choices so you can go inside. We have hypnotherapy, Mm -hmm. we have Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Reiki, we have channeling people, we have tarot cards, we have angelic channel, we have Akashic records, we have a lot of opportunities. You choose. And I think that's Absolutely. What happening nowadays. And it's beautiful that you have a clear intention to attract the people that really feel through hypnotherapy, they're going to be able to connect themselves to themselves, to that divinity they are. So I really want to um, say thank you for the work you're doing in, and the impact you are creating in this world nowadays where the healing process is changing. It's not just about putting a lot of chemicals into your body, which I respect and I believe, <coughs> excuse me, that some people still need to go through that process. But when you combine that process with one of these healing energies, pro- energy process, like all of mm-hmm. those that we have there, like the one that you're doing, we are creating a strong team that really can battle fight and win any obstacle that we have created in our lives. Agreed. Agreed. And one of the things that I like to, to work with, with particularly with the cancer patients is that there's so much energy in an actual fight. Mm -hmm. People talk about fighting for fighting cancer. Mm -hmm. And I like to think of it in terms of releasing it. Mm -hmm. There's a message We get the message and release it because the opportunity is to retain as much energy as we can rather than giving our energy to any disease, whether it's cancer or something else. Yes, I I love what you said. I have one of my nieces is dealing with cancer. She's eight years old. And Mm, at the mm -hmm. the hospital, she got a sticker saying cancer sucks. I took that sticker and I ripped it in front of her and I said, no, cancer doesn't suck, Jarelli. Cancer is a blessing for you to be able to connect to your infinite power to heal yourself. This is showing you something that maybe at this age you won't see it clearly, but I am pretty sure that when you heal, you're going to start a process in your life where at some point you're going to be able to sit back and think, this is why I created this cancer in my body. This is why cancer to teach me something that now I'm learning and that you are learning right now and that's why you're healing. And I agree with you. Put the energy of fighting inside. Put that energy for you to create a different space in your body to create the healing that you already are, to create the energy and the cells that are alive, healthy, and ready to reproduce more life into your body. Beautiful. Wonderfully said. Absolutely. Yeah. Lauren, I agree. Um, you said it before, like some people may now feel so compelled or resonating with all of these um, modalities that we discuss in my show. But could you share with us two steps or tips for anyone to start their healing process? Oh, sure. Um, One thing that I I like to suggest is that our our body gives us the signals. Um, So one of the first questions that I ask people if they're saying, I feel sad or I feel angry or I feel distraught or whatever it is, my question to them is, where are you feeling it in your body? Because there are signals in that, whether it's something that we want to reproduce or whether it's something that we want to be aware of. And once we're in touch with where that feeling is in our body, to observe the thought, because an emotion is just a thought moving through our bodies. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So if we observe the feeling, observe the thought that's around that, oh gosh, you know, isn't that interesting? I'm feeling sad and I feel that in my stomach. I wonder about that feeling. Where does it come from? And what does it need to feel better? The sadness. What does the sadness need to feel better? Well, it needs laughter or it needs fun or it needs companionship or it needs love. And then there's the opportunity to have some answers just right in the moment if we're paying attention to where things are in our body. I love that one. And I'm going to tell you why. Because one of the actions we need to take to retake our power is to change the relationship with our bodies. We need to mm-hmm. have a dialogue with our body. We need to feel our body. I'm in a work right now where every time when I'm going to eat, even when I'm going to uh, dress in the morning, I ask my body, what would you like to dress? What colors are you vibrating and resonating today for me to wear? What would you like to eat? Mm-hmm. And I always mm-hmm. just take a deep breath and get in contact with my body to, to listen because that's one of my goals. I want to listen to my body. My body is my temple. It's the vehicle that is allowing me to experience the, this beautiful life that I'm creating every day. But if I don't take care of my body, if I don't listen to my body, then we need to deal with the consequences. And my life is not going to be as great, marvelous, and enjoyable as I want it. So thank you so much for that tip. And it's really, really, if you're listening, please don't believe anything that we have said. Verify it. Do not believe it. It's not about Mm. increasing (laughs) your beliefs. That's not the idea of this show. The idea of this show is that you listen to different opportunities for you to heal at different levels and verify it. Just go and try. Make sure that you look for the right person. Make sure that you resonate, investigate about the person, feel if that is the person you're looking for. Lauren is here to help. Just go to her website, uh, read, take a deep breath, and see how you feel. Where is your, how is your body feeling when you're reading that? Where do you feel it? What are the thoughts coming? It's not just about, uh, about healing. It's about any decision you take, get in contact to your body and listen to your body. Mm-hmm. Lauren, let's mm-hmm. remind listeners where they can go to find out more about you. They can go to my website, which is www. Dot Lauren Cardinal, that's L A U R E N C A R D I N A L E, laurencardinal.com. And they can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. And I believe everything is linked up through my website as well. So if you wanted to access my Facebook from my website, you can do that. And my phone number is 973 418 2170 for anybody who would like to ask a question. I'm here. You'll get me on the phone. Thank you, Lauren, for sharing your healing superpower with us and especially for being able to explain a process that may sound complicated, woo-woo, and weird in a beautiful (laughs) way. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I enjoyed it immensely. And thank you all of you for joining us. I am Angela Maria, Conscious Creation. Change actions, shift energy to leave heaven down here on earth. I will see you next time. Are you ready to discover your superpowers? Go now to superpowerexperts.com and take the superpower quiz today.